Hello everyone, welcome back to Fun Story Factory. Today we're going to read a book called The Jewels of Bermuda. So I'm going to be taking you all the way to Bermuda where we're going to enjoy this book that's been written by Emily Cosset. I was lucky enough to spend the month of December in Bermuda and that's where I bought this book and it's absolutely wonderful. This is going to take you on an adventure underneath the waters of Bermuda. It's also going to teach you a lot about the conservation and how we can look after what's in our sea. Shall we begin? On a beautiful sunny morning, Stella and her family were heading to the beach. A pleasant mist of warmth filled the air as they drove along the south shore. Stella couldn't wait to join her friends for a whole day of splashing, giggling and sandy toes. But when she arrived at the beach, none of her friends were there. The beach was empty. Disappointed, Stella turned to her parents to ask them to play, but they were both already busy. Near the turquoise water lapping on the shore, Stella sat alone on the beach and decided to build the most beautiful and glorious sandcastle ever. Then suddenly she heard a desperate call, help, please help. Shall we see what's happening? And where do you think the noise is coming from? Can you see where the noise is coming from? I think it's from a turtle in the sea. Stella ran to the shore, took a deep breath and dove courageously into the shallow water. Within moments, she saw a turtle trapped in a plastic net. Stella hurried to release the poor animal. Thank you for saving me. My name is Duffy, said the rescued sea turtle. You're welcome, Stella replied. I've never really looked under the sea before. It's so colourful and there's so much life. Duffy was so grateful that she offered to take Stella on an adventure to discover the ocean life surrounding the island, the jewels of Bermuda. For their first stop, they visited Duffy's family, who were busy in a serious, tremendous race. Can you see all the turtles? They're all swimming. Green sea turtles are much faster in the water than tortoises on the land, Duffy told Stella. Ridden by their friends, the remora fish, they like to race, gliding across the water as fast as they can. Can you see the fish on top of the, on top of the turtle's back? In shallow water, among quiet coral reefs, we can find the parrotfish family, Duffy said. They're saying blah, 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 blah. They are called that because of their bright, colourful scales and fused teeth that look like a parrot's beak. Parrotfish just talk, babble and chit-chat all day long. She's having a lovely ride on the turtle's back, isn't she? On Duffy's back. Yes, looks like fun, doesn't it? There are lionfish everywhere around Bermuda, Duffy continued. Wow, can you see the big lionfish? Lionfish are so greedy. They swallow, gobble and slurp everything they see. And don't get too close. When they dart around, their pointy fins can sting and cause such harm. You see their stinging fins? Wow, be careful of those. They continued on their way until they met the angelfish. In Bermuda, angelfish are the symbol of divine beauty, reflecting the island's charm. Guardians of their area, they need their own space, otherwise they can get really grumpy, Duffy explained. So they get grumpy. Hmm, it's interesting, isn't it? These beautiful pictures. Wow! In a bay we can find spotted eagle rays. With their long tails and their wings, 
they gracefully fly through the water. Rays are very powerful swimmers and often do spectacular leaps out of the water, Duffy added. Look, they're looking at them flying above the water level. Can you see? Once in a while, we cross a bloom of hundreds of moon jellyfish. They swarm and perform a magnificent ballet, floating and dancing all around. Oh, they look beautiful, don't they? When water becomes darker, these marine creatures emit their own light and illuminate the darkness with a beautiful blue and purple brightness, Duffy said. Can you see how they light up in the dark? The ballet was soon followed by a beautiful song. Humpback whales visit Bermuda every year during their great epic journey to the north. Singing in their melodic way, they are haunting the water with their clicks, trills, warbles and whistles sound. These marine mammals are gigantic, Duffy exclaimed. Wow, look at this picture. Stella and Duffy swam a little deeper until they discovered a massive boat. Stella and Duffy swam a little deeper until they discovered a massive boat. The island is surrounded by many shipwrecks, Duffy explained. Once beautiful strong vessels crossing the sea, they now provide a home to lots of species. There are a few legends about hidden treasures in these wrecks, but I have never found any. Can you see? There's the boats. Close to the rocky shore, we can find mysterious caves where lobsters, crabs and other crustacean friends come together at dawn, their music echoing on the rock walls, Duffy continued. Awesome! They've got rhythm, Stella said, enjoying the music. Can you see her enjoying it? They finally reached a beautiful reef near the island shore. And it says here, blue tang, yellow-tailed damselfish, black grouper, black durgan, yellow rus, queen triggerfish. So all the names of all the wonderful fish and, and, and oh my word, it's fantastic underneath in the coral reefs. Bermuda's colorful coral reefs are unique, healthy and diverse, Duffy commented. We can find lots of creatures in every shape, size and colour. Big, small, long, short, round, flat, bright, spiky, spotty or silvery. They are all different and live in perfect harmony. There's the balloon fish as well, the butterfly fish, the peacock flounder, the trunk fish, the seahorse, the trumpet fish, the squirrel fish and even a doctor fish. Do you want to see all the fish? Hmm, it's amazing, isn't it? They all live together happily. Exhausted from her adventure, Stella sat on the beach. What an incredible journey. I've learned so much about the underwater life here. The ocean is home to so many fascinating creatures. Yes, Duffy replied, but unfortunately, everything you visited today is in danger due to pollution. You saved me from the plastic I was trapped in, but not all animals are as lucky. That's horrible, Stella gasped. What can we do to stop that happening? It's easy. Reuse, reduce and recycle, Duffy explained. Small everyday actions can make a huge difference. Together we can keep the ocean safe and beautiful. Do you recycle? Can you reduce the waste that you use? Can you reuse a plastic bag a few times? That will help save Duffy, won't it? Yes, let's carry on. 
Thanks to Duffy, Stella discovered a whole new world that she didn't even know existed. As she waved goodbye to her new friends, Stella was eager to share her unbelievable day with her parents and everything she had learned. And she's waving goodbye and there's a beautiful sunset. And that's the end. So this book really is very clever because it's teaching us how to save all the marine life under the sea. The author has written and said, Bermuda has an amazing program whose mission is to conserve sea, to conserve sea turtles through research and education. So completely protected today, green sea turtles are still listed as an endangered species and they continue to be threatened by human activities and working with the Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre at the Bermuda Aquarium, Museum and Zoo, sick and injured sea turtles are treated before being released back into the ocean. I'm going to tell you a few more things about sea turtles. So that's, that's written here in the back of the book. Sea turtles have been around since before the age of the dinosaurs. Green turtles can take up to 50 years to become fully grown and can live up to 100 years depending on the species. And while their eyesight is good underwater, turtles are thought to be nearsighted on land and they can hold their breath for four to seven hours. Oh my word, there's so many different things about them. And they can't put their, pull their heads into their shells like tortoises on land. And they ma navigate, turtles navigate at sea by sensing the invisible lines of the Earth's magnetic field. A baby turtle's sex is determined by the sand temperature in which their egg is laid. Cooler temperatures provide more male turtles, while more females are developed in warmer temperatures. Turtles navigate at sea by sensing the invisible lines of the Earth's magnet magnetic field, and sea turtles can't pull their heads into the shells like tortoises on land. So do you want to help the turtles in this world? Why don't you? Tell some of your friends about the turtles in Bermuda. You can even talk about it in class, can't you? And tell your teacher how everybody has to start being careful and reuse and recycle so we can save the turtles. Thank you for listening. Take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye.